Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create this lattice structure using PCG or procedural content generation in Unreal Engine 5.5. Uh, actually I'm using 5.4 but the same thing can be done in 5.5 as well. So, so here what you see is just a structure that I have made with uh, thousands of individual instanced static meshes here i have just a sphere and a cube that's all i have here so this is one of the most basic things that we can create with pcg but this would be a good starting point so yeah let's see how to do this today and uh, before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page uh, once you become a member you can download all thousands of projects without any limits so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description all right now let's get back to today's tutorial okay so the first thing is make sure that you have enabled the pcg plugin it's just search pcg and here you see procedural content generation framework that's the only thing you require for this part of the tutorial you don't need any of those things i have already enabled it so i'm not i don't need to enable but when you enable it you may have to restart the project okay now let me create a new folder i'll call it pcg and pcg create a new pcg crop let's name it pcg lattice okay now let me drag and drop it here so we don't have anything as for well now now let's start adding stuff okay so the first thing is we need a grid a point grid so to generate a point grid we can create is this create points grid and here i'll choose the grid extends as thousand by thousand by thousand and here if you enable debug now you see all the points so it's in the middle of the level and they are scaled up so you don't see individual points you just see one single cube so let me remove debug mode for this and add the transform points node and now let me change this scale to something like 0.1 now we should be able to see individual points but i'm not seeing anything that's because i haven't enabled debug okay see now i can see points and half of them are underground so i'll move it up and also you can see it's not in here where i had placed the oh it has an offset Okay. Anyway, let me add thousand and move it up, but still it's underground. Okay. Now here, coordinate is global. So if I make this local component, then it generates points around the object. Let me just put it into okay now we have the points that we need so it's time to spawn a mesh so spawn. i'll use this spawn static mesh spawner and as the static mesh i can select i'll remove now here under mesh selector mesh entries now you need to select a static mesh 
so i'm gonna use this under level product i have in meshes i have this oh i don't have i was planning to use a sphere that's fine we have spheres in our editor let's use one of them this uh, material is okay see now we have this sphere and I like this blue material so we can override the mati overlay material oh wait let's this override okay now we have blue spears first step of our lattice maybe I should make them a little bigger so here yeah. About point three, a bit too much, but that's fine. We can fine tune that later. Okay, now the next thing is we need to add these uh, connecting rods among each of these uh, spheres. So for that, we gonna need another mesh spawner but here let me just duplicate this uh one more thing yeah no let me just duplicate this and here under meshes i have this sm cube let me use that i don't need to override the mesh now you see those cubes here but they should be they should have a length to connect here connect with other points so instead of using this transform points I'll use this Let me break this and then here let me make this point one so it will initially it will become smaller right and then i'll increase its length by changing this now i'll unlock this scale and i'll change y scale to one since this is using min and max you need to make sure both are same otherwise you will get a random value between the mean value and max value okay no no i'm not seeing the length increased why oh i have this uniform scale disable that yeah okay now i got the connecting lines and the length also seems to be correct but we have one extra step here which i don't need so how do i avoid that i can give an offset but if i give an offset it will move here backward so maybe let me edit this in here so for the connecting rods we actually need one less uh, one less line here in this grid so if i only got lines up to this point that should be enough so I can maybe nine hundred. Okay, but now it starts from here. Okay, it's not correct. Mm -hmm. Nine hundred fifty. Okay, all right. Now the length is correct, but. Doesn't match properly, so 
okay now we can add an offset minus 50 yeah now it perfectly matches all right so now we have this side and the other side so we might need to do the same thing we just duplicate but here I'll rotate this to decrease okay so when I do that I need this line but I need to get rid of one on the other side so that means this one will become 950 this one should be 1000 and here should be minus 50 how it should work no oh not minus 50 plus 50 yeah okay now we have the grid uh now you see this uh, sphere doesn't exactly oh here we have a little difference what is that oh, i forgot to okay so yeah this sphere is not exactly intersect uniformly across these rods so we might need to give some offset but what's the diameter of 30 will be 30 because I'm measuring from here okay so that means I might need to move this maybe not 30 of course not 30 not even half, maybe quarter of it. And it's in both on Z axis, vertical axis, and also, well, both the axis, all the axis. So, 7.5, so that's vertically corrected it but here x along x we need to give a minus 7 that's x right that's x oh i'm not sure it's minus maybe plus let's see that's plus and across the other side is it already correct no it's in the minus or plus so i'm not gonna think i'm just gonna do yeah it's plus okay oh no it doesn't look right already okay okay really okay i added 3.25 and that seems good enough okay now the vertical bars so the same thing this now here this should be on z axis and transform is on any axis should do rotation is 
must here. Okay, See, now we have a complete lattice and this is not connected. All right, so that means it's plus. Yeah. Okay, so here we have our PCG lattice. And you learned how to use create points and how to use transforms and how to use a static mesh spawner. Three, three very important but basic, very important basic notes. And I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Even though it's very simple, I really like the way it looks. So if you want to go an extra step, you can maybe add other roads across as well. But I'm not gonna do that here. So thanks for watching. Updated project files will be available in the Patreon page. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and see you in some other tutorial. Goodbye.